kaibigan mga kapatiran at once again nandito tayo sa 2nd Kings chapter 5 sa ating pagpatuloy sa ating God's Word for Today devotional today basahin ko sa ating Tagalog na Biblia once more 2nd Kings chapter 5 19-27 sinabi niya sa kanya humayo kang payapa kaya siya ay lumayo sa kanya sa adik kalayuan ngunit si Jehasi na lingkod ni Elisio na tao ng Diyos ay nagsabi Tingnan mo, pinalampas ng aking Panginoon ang namang ito na taga Syria sa di pagtanggap mula sa kanyang mga kamay ng kanyang dala. Habang buhay ang Panginoon, hahabulin ko siya at kukuha ako ng kahit ano sa kanya. Kaya sinundan ni Jehasi, si Naaman. Na makita ni Naaman na may humahabol sa kanya, siya bumaba sa karwahe upang salubungin siya at sinabi, Lahat ba'y mabuti? At kanyang sinabi, lahat ay mabuti. Sinugo ako ng aking Panginoon upang sabihin na, may kararating pa lamang sa akin mula sa lupaing maburul ng Ephraim na dalawang binata sa mga anak ng mga propeta. Bigyan mo sila ng isang talintong pilak at dalawang pambalit na bihisan. Sinabi niya naman, tanggapin mo sana ang dalawang talento. Kanyang hinimo siya at Ibinalot ang dalawang talintong pilak sa dalawang supot, pati ang dalawang pampalit na bihisan at ipinasan sa dalawa sa kanyang mga tauhan na nagdala ng mga yun sa harapan ni Jihazi. Nang siya dumating sa burol, kinuha niya ang mga yun sa kanila at itinago niya sa bahay. Pinahayo niya ang mga lalaki at sila'y umalis. Siya pumasok at tumayo sa harapan ng kanyang Panginoon at sinabi ni Elisio sa kanya, Saan ka nang galing Jihazi? At kanyang sinabi, ang inyong lingkod ay walang pinaruroonan. Ngunit kanyang sinabi sa kanya, hindi ba sumama ko sa iyo sa espiritu ng ang lalaki ay bumalik mula sa kanyang karwahi upang salubungin ka? Panahon ba ang upang tumanggap ng salapi at mga bihisan ng mga ulibuhan at mga ubasan, ng mga tupa at mga baka, ng mga aliping lalaki at babae? Kaya ang kitong ni Naaman ay kakapit sa iyo at sa iyong binhi magpakailanman. At siya ay umalis sa kanyang harapan na isang kitongin na kasimputi ng niyepi. Let's be warned this morning about the evil of greed. The evil of greed. Obviously, si Jihazi na katulong ni, ni Elisio ay he was not uh, this of the same spiritual plane or level sa kanyang amo na si Naaman or na, not Naaman but Elisha. Jihazi had not embraced the spiritual values of his master, Elisha. Sinunda niya si Naaman and he manufactured a story na ang kanyang master had changed his mind. So, Ang kanyang hiningi did not arouse um, suspicion. Uh, it was a clever ploy, it was a clever plan, because it was not asking too much. He did not ask for gold, but only one talent of silver and two changes of clothing. Hindi mahalata na it was really um, a, a clever plan. It was really something that hindi magsuspitso sinaman. Uh, this is the evil of greed. Greed makes one clever in making cover-up stories. And let us be aware that when we are tempted to lie against God, ang diablo po ay nangyan to help us in order the, that matuloy ang ating hindi magandang balak. Let us remember na ang pag-describe ng Diablo sa John 8.44 that he is the father of lies. So lahat ng kasinungalingan ay galing sa kanya. At sa kasinaaman, 
nung narinig niya itong hiningi ni Jehazi, we know that he has always, or he was, he has the pleasure of blessing Elisha sa kanyang pagpasalamat na ginaling siya ng Panginoon through him. Gusto niya bigyan ng gift si Elisha na hindi tumanggap ng maski anuman. So it was really his pleasure to give anything to Elisha. So he eagerly dipped into his treasures and gave two talents instead na one talent of silver, dalawang talento ng silver. Ang binigyan niya, he put it into two bags and the two changes of clothing at binigay kay Jehazi. Presumably, Jehazi had calculated that Elisha won't know anything about this clandestine act. Sikrito, masyadong sikrito ang ginawa niya. Pero he was wrong. As sa kasabihan pa, walang usok na ting, hindi natin matago or matago. You, you cannot cleanse your fist and hide the smoke. When asked by Elisha kung saan siya nanggaling, he denied vehemently. So, nag-deny siya because he wants to, or he wanted to cover up his sin. You see, ang kanyang unang kasalanan ay nadagdagan pa ng pagsisinungaling pa rin. And this is the dynamics and the process of sinning. It's always one sin that breeds to another. Ang isang kasalanan ay hindi na natili ng isa, kundi nadagdagan pa ng another sin. And that's the evil of this greed. You know, he covered it up, he manufactured stories, he lied to his master. Clearly, Jehazi took an opportunity as a servant of Elisha as, as a means of gain. Pinagsamantalahan niya talaga na siya po ay katulong or servant of the great prophet Elisha. He thought na he could continue serving as a servant of the prophet and then magpurso siya ng kanyang gusto which is material gain. He, he thought that he can continue serving as, as, as a servant at the same time, pursue in his heart for material things. So ang tanong natin is, sa ginawa ni Jehazi, is godliness a means of gain? Of, of gain? Is godliness a means of gain? Certainly not. Si Pablo po ay nag-i-explain dito sa 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 6 to 9. Let me read. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. But if we have food and clothing, with this we will be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation, into a snare, into many senseless and harmful desires that plants people into ruin and destructions. Ito sinabi ni Pablo ay perfect na description sa kay Jihasi. Because he pursued material things over godliness. He, he went into a snare. He plunged himself into ruin and destruction. Remember, we could not serve God and material things, money or mammon. Sabi pa ni Panginoong Sokristo. Si Panginoong Sokristo plainly declared that we cannot do this. He said in Matthew chapter 6, verse 24, No one can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Simply said, we must not use God or the name of God for material gain. Rather, balik natin, we should use our resources, anything, blessing, whatever we can use in order to serve God, to glorify God. Not the other way around. Hindi pa sabi ni Panginoon sa Kristo na magtipon tayo ng kayamanan sa langit, hindi po dito sa mundo. And the way we do it is to serve God using the blessings, using the material things that we have in life. You know, Don't lay up for yourself treasures in on earth na mawala lang. 
but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust nor even thieves can steal. So, babala sa ito. Let's avoid this evil of greed that plunged jihasi into destruction. Contentment is a great thing. So, ito yung pagkakamali ni jihasi. And it was really a fundamental problem sa kanyang puso. Ultimately, ating nakita sa, sa, na si Jihasi ay umani kung ano ang kanyang hinahasik. He reap what is hand sown. Ang kanyang natanggap cannot compensate the punishment na natanggap niya. The two talents of silver and two pieces of clothing that he got by wickedness ay hindi po katumbas sa punishment na kanyang natanggap. Yes, he got na Ammon's silver. He got na Ammon's treasure. But he also got his leprosy. And this leprosy was passed unto his descendants. It was a curse to his whole plan. Katulad kay Aikan during the time of Joshua. The punishment of Achan of losing his clan, binabato silang lahat. Ganyan po ang price ng greed. And it's cost equally costly as Naaman also cost his life and his whole, whole family. While Achan and his family were stoned to death, ito si Naaman, ito naman si Jihasi ay it is a slow and painful process because his family will experience the hard, the, 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 you know, the, the sickness of leprosy. They, they, will, they will be outcast. They will be ostracized by the, by the society. And this will linger for a period of time. What a tragedy because of his greed. Let's continue to search our hearts. Um, sabi ng Panginoon sa atin yan, sa so Proverbs 24, 23 na, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. May God help us. Manalangin tayo. Thank you, Lord, for today, for your word. Help us not to miss this warning. And to the sad example of Jihasi. Help us, Lord, to treasure you above anything else that we will be able to say for there is nothing that we treasure in life except the Lord Jesus Christ. And ikaw po nagsasabi, Panginoon, that he that loses his life for my sake and the gospel, the same shall save it. Ikaw po ngaming kayamanan, Panginoon. Salamat po for remind, this reminder today. Bless us all heart. Let it be that ang aming puso po ay totally committed sa inyo, nothing else. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.